hold my shirt. So I will remove this thing, then I will prostrate for the whole church for one thing. Women, I want to beg you. Ladies, I want to beg you. Men, I want to beg you. Those who are coming who are still not men, but they are going to become men, I want to also beg you. The kingdom of the kingdom of darkness is prowling every day and the confrontational power that it has is concentrating it so much on the family of children of God Almighty. Most times the children of God don't understand this. The word of the Lord is clear. I'm still going to implore the uh, teachers. They will bring something back upon this. They will bring something back maybe 30 minutes. We go into the scriptures. What's, 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 what, what's the word of the Lord there? Then we do some interpretation from the spirits. Quite a lot of things that we may understand somehow may not be exactly like that as i'm talking to you a man is here and he said to me kissing kissing not kissing another person no. kissing my wife and I pray God will help us in Jesus name. Some of you may not understand what I'm saying, but I pray that Holy Ghost will give you the understanding in the name of Jesus. Our mothers, please, 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 please. We should talk to our daughters that are coming. The issue of family. It's not a thing you say me onigba. It's not like that too. If you see man and woman living together for 10 years, 20 years, 50, 30, 30, it's quite a lot, a lot of sacrifices. What you are beating your chest that you are not going to agree. Somebody is agreeing with it in his or her family and that's the, why the family is intact. The teachers are coming, they will teach you. And that's why we said, come to Rabbi Theological Institute. There are two things about the family. One to man, one to woman. Ephesians chapter 5. Man is to love. Woman or women is to do what? Submit. submit. What is submission? I didn't read English language in this university. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. This issue has started from the time of our fellowship. And I stood before you, Persis. Those of you were there. I said, some women were joining us then. Some of us were not married at that time. And they saw the grace of God in small boys and girls coming together. And they started following us. And people were challenging them. Why are you following this stupid boy? This arrogant individual and all that so many interpretation so it became troubled some families there were issues there was one man that came to our fellowship one day the spirit of the lord is 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 a, is a spirit you cannot compromise with and that day we were discussing this issue and the man said after the meeting he said i have come to fight you but for what you discuss and for what you stand to tell everybody and what did i say i said women that are attending this program if your husband asks you not to come not to attend again please cease to attend it the lord said it to me and i said it to everybody the man said i thought you are the one teaching my wife to disobey me at home women hear me very well be wise I would like you to disrespect me as your pastor. 
rather than disrespect your husband at home. If I know a woman that is disrespectful at home, if she comes to me and kneel down, I will say, Madam, rise up. Don't need that for me again. Until you settle home. Let me not waste your time. Several things God gets said to me and I wrote down. I thought I would have the time. I didn't know so many. If God has given you gifts, if God has ordained you women, if you are prophetess, if you are pastor, if you are evangelist, if you are firebrand and all that, your husband is the senior in the house. If you are a prophetess, your husband is the senior prophet. By marriage, it becomes the senior immediately. There's no anointing you can carry. If he doesn't agree with the anointing, that woman is going to fail. The word of the Lord is clear. So many interpretations into the word of the Lord. When it comes to love, the real love, the family, so many things. So many things you need to understand. But some of us, we don't understand it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Another point is this. If you are carrying gifts upon your life, if you are a woman, if your husband does not recognize you as the either prophet or pastor of the house until he recognizes you, if you are lowering yourself upon him, you are not going to have peace in that house. If your husband says, I have my prophet somewhere, go and do your own prophecy somewhere. There's something is wrong with what you are carrying. He say, you were in office, you will leave. You were in one pastor. Timbag Bobe took me to come That same day, I will write to Baba Ladra. You are not pastor again, no. What I'm saying is that everything you are, the Bible says you submit. Submission. Submission. Hello, whoa. Go and look at the interpretation. Even physical interpretation. Then we are going to look at it that same day. The spiritual interpretation of what submission is all about. About leadership. Thank God for what you have had. No problem. I will not say anything about that. But this one, no Jamie Logo Logo. Your home will not break in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You didn't shout your amen very well. Yeah. Please get get to the feet very well. Get to the very well. Get to the very well. And if you miss it from the beginning, it's a difficult situation. Because if it is when you have gotten married that your husband is now telling you go and do so so so. I don't expect you to know that because you should have known this is my husband this is what he loves but at the point of you changing from what he loves that brought you together it must be the agreement between the two of you I have seen Christ I have found Christ what you were doing together before you don't want to do it again you have to pray I'm not saying men are right all the time the God we are talking about has positioned them to be our God first. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't disobey your husband because the Bible does not support it. Pray. Whatever information you have, whatever you want to put across to him, make sure you pray. Make sure you understand it together. You must get him to understand it is very important again the lord will help us in jesus name one of our daughters was getting married years back she came to me my boyfriend my boyfriend that was what she was calling that man at that time my boyfriend my boyfriend I said, okay at the time he said he my boyfriend is a muslim I said, ah, okay no problem i'm not against anybody i hope you have agreed together she said every water that we did here as if it was his was a, a, a water that is different. He said, I, I will use it to, to prepare food for him. I said, what is the, what is the significance of that? He said, ah, I, I'm using it to, to, to beat his heart down. I said, okay. I said, but I agree on everything before you go ahead. Ah, he's a quiet guy. He said, okay. He said, he cannot, he, he cannot disallow me not to attend. I said, eh. After marriage, she came, she was crying. Why are you crying? He said, my husband didn't allow me again. What do you want me to do? He said, I'm going to talk. I will not talk to him. If he says, 
you should come and become somebody else you have known him before and you didn't settle the issue at that time and I told you go and listen to your husband that's why sometimes when you see her here three weeks, two weeks at another one month, two months you can't find her again the Lord will bless you with all good things in the name of Jesus you will not have trouble in your family in the name of Jesus God you see the best thing that can happen to anybody is to get married no matter the trouble it's still the best because it was one of the earliest things that God put together by himself but devil devil will always kick against what the Lord put together but I pray in the name of Jesus if you are having it rough the Lord will smoothen it up in the name of Jesus if you are not having it at all the Lord will bring it into play in the name of Jesus and if God is helping you he will continue to help you in the name of Jesus can somebody shout amen, amen. a slight adjustment in our program please listen tomorrow 6 30 6 30 don't let us make it 7 tomorrow is october 1st